Hello guys, and now I will explain about the skin and load command. And previously we have covered the extrude, revolve, sweep command. And uh, the skin loft command is used to create the blades for the aircraft or the blades for the wind turbines from multiple sections. And uh, that is not possible to be done with the help of the extrude, revolve or sweep command. And uh, I will be explaining the, this command with uh, multiple examples. So first of all, let me show you that what we can do with the uh, skin loft command. So this is the skin loft command here. And uh, we can join the multiple arrow files to make the wing for the aircraft. And uh, these arrow files will be generated at the multiple planes. And uh, we will change the, the dimensions of the every arrow file in terms of the, its thickness and the core length. And similarly for the wind turbine, they have some twist angle, they have the, some different core lengths. And they are stuck at a different location along the span. For example, here we have the pitch axis around which we can uh, move the or uh, rotate the geometry of the each arrow file. And for that to be done in the design model, we have to rotate the, that plane at that particular angle. And now I will use the same skin command, loft command, and I will use the same dimensions for circular cylinder and make the same geometry as I did with the extrude, revolve, and the sweep command. So first of all, I will choose the X5 plane and then click on look at and then go to the sketching tab and from here click on circle and make a one circle of uh, diameter is equal to one meter and also I will move the dimension towards the circle and after that I will go back to the modeling tab and I will choose the X5 plane where I just created the, this uh, circular cylinder or circular curve. And uh, I will click on the new plane. To create new plane, I have to click here. And this will refer to the X5 plane. This is a reference plane for this new plane, plane 4. And uh, I will use the command transform. And uh, here I will offset the Z. So because we have the X5 axis in this uh, circle. So I want to move this uh, plane at the location of Z is equal to 5 meters. And that is equal to the length of the circular cylinder. So 5 meters here and click on generate. So now we have the second plane at the Z is equal to 5 meters but same as the X5 plane. And again I will click on look at and I will sketch a new circle here of the same dimension which is a one meter and just move the dimension towards the circle and now go back to the modeling tab again and click on the XY plane and click on sketch and always show sketch option to be turned on. So you can see here that we have the two planes here and uh, we have drawn the two circles on these two planes of same diameter and I will use a skin load command and uh, I will select the two sketches here and apply and click on generate. So now you can see that we have just created the same circular cylinder we created with the help of the extrude, revolve or sweep command. But the, the thing is that we can also create the tapered cylinder in this command and which is also possible with the revolve command if we draw the line inclined some angle. So let's say if I change the dimension of uh, second circle to the 0.5. So this is the second circle now. So now I will get the, the tapered cylinder here. So just click on generate. And we can take it back to the same dimension let's say and generate. 